Hi everyone and welcome back to another Coach's Corner live training session brought to you by Perfect Play. Today we're at the wet and wonderful King's Meadow for another training session. I'm Coach Andy Otley and work for the Foundation and the Academy and I'm going to take you through a 30 to 40 minute training session working on skills, drills and practices that you can train on at home. For today's session you need yourself, a ball, um, eight to ten markers or household objects if you've got them. Make sure you've got your drink with you and stay hydrated throughout the session. We're going to be working on our receiving skills, our passing techniques and some dribbling and turning, getting our heart rates going a little bit of some fitness work towards the end. Here is the first part of today's training session. Here's the setup for our first drill. For our first drill we're going to be working on just some simple passing and working on getting my heart rate nice and raised, ready for some different parts of training throughout the session today. To start with, I've got eight cones, but I don't need all them to start off with. I'm just going to put myself in an area of four yards apart on my wall, so I've got a target area to hit every time. So four of my steps across, and I'm just going to be working in this warm-up to constantly hit in between that area. And to start with, I'm just going to work both feet. You guys should be copying me. So I'm just going right foot, touch and pass. Right foot, touch and pass. I'm nice and light on my toes. I should be able to play two touch each time. Now I'm going to my left foot. This is my weaker left foot. So it's important that I get that concentration and that technique right. It should be non-kicking foot next to the ball. Inside of my foot, so a big surface area. So I can punch that pass and be accurate with a good weight so that it rolls back into me. I don't want to be going too hard, so it makes it difficult to control. Don't want to be going too soft, because it's too slow. Can I get a good rhythm? So on this left foot, I'm going to make four in a row. Three, four. Now I'm going on to my right foot. I'm going to go all turn it now. Right, then left. Touch, two touch in between. So I'm right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left. So here, I'm having to pass across my body slightly so that when it goes to my right foot, it goes to my left, and vice versa. Very easy, very simple. All just part of our warm-up. Next one here, I'm going to receive the ball with the outside of my boot. So pass inside, receive outside, play back across. Receive outside, play in. Receive outside, play in. It's important, as that ball comes to me, I work across my body, angle my foot in a good position, might have to slightly come across my body so I can angle and take my first touch back to the way that I want it to go before I punch it in. So it's outside, inside. Working that left foot as well. Outside, inside. Outside, inside. Two more. Good. Slightly harder one this time. As the ball comes to me, I want the ball to be received with the inside of my boot, across my body. I'm now going to pass it with the outside of my boot. So this one here is important that I step away with the, from the ball, my non-kicking foot. I lock my right ankle and I'm going to kick towards the ball. So I step away from the ball and I step into it and kick into the ball. Try not to be square on, facing where you want to go, being in a straight line with the ball, and just twisting your foot. That's not the outside of the boot pass I'm looking for. Not the technique I'm looking for. So it's away from your body, tape in. So touch, step away, step in with that boot. Step away, step in with your right boot. Couple on the left, so my right foot steps away, play with my left. Cross my body, step away, punch it in. Two more, away, punch it in, away, punch it in. Okay, just because we are working on a lot of ball striking and passing today, we're just going to go through a few stretches where we are. So just where I am, I'm kicking through and stretching out those hamstrings on the spot. I want to try and get at least three in on each side. I can move around in a small area but kicking through and stretching out those hamstrings. I'm now going to go opening up those groins. We are going to work in the next part of today's training 
on some longer range passing and how accurate we can be. Close those groins as well. Get at least three each side. Good. Last little one in here. I'll just go quick feet into a lunge. Quick feet into a lunge. Good. And then before we go on to our next drill, this is going to be our last little challenge in here, just to get us really warm and ready for today. So I'm now going to go one touch only, but alternate feet. So I'm going to go right, then left. But can I go nice and quick? Four, five, six. I want to get 12 in. Ah! 11, 12. Just about. Just about got them in. Now I feel like my feet are warmed up a bit. I'm feeling good and ready to go. If you guys want to pause there, have yourself a stretch, get yourself a drink, that's fine. I'm feeling good, so I'm going to go straight into drill number two and the second part of today's practice. For the second part of the practice, I'm actually going to open up the gate that I've got here. So rather than it being four of my steps, I'm going to open up with one more big step, make it five. So I'm going to be working on different types of passing here. Now from here, I'm going to be going out different distances and it's going to be a slow pace session, but we're going to work in on different passing techniques. Three, four, five steps with the first cone and just bring it to the side. That's going to be one of our passes that we make. Next one, one, two, three, four, five. Another five steps out, so I'm now 10 yards away. Another five. We'll work on a laces pass here. One, two, three, four, five. Work on a bit of a curved pass. Bit of a curved pass. Get a little bit of bend on it. Five. And then the last one. Two, three, four, five. I'll be going my full range pass. And I might have a challenge for us to finish with at the end. Now for you, depending on your, your age and size, your steps might not be as big as mine and you might not take five steps in between. You might only take three or four, and your distance might not be as big. That's fine, you need to set yourselves up a challenge that is good for you. For this challenge today, I'm gonna make sure that I complete a pass with my right foot and my left foot before I can move on to the next level and the different types of pass. So I'm gonna keep practicing, make sure I get it right, once I'm confident with it, once I can make it three or four times in a row, then I'll move back. So the first one is very simple. I'm five yards apart, we've just been practicing it. So can I touch pass with my right foot, touch pass inside of my left foot? Simple as that. I'm gonna get six before moving on to the next level. Two, three, next one, four, five, and six. You guys should be going, you guys should be practicing that. Level one should be nice and simple for us. Again, non-kicking foot next to the ball, how accurate can I be in between my gate? Okay, I'm now back to the next pass here. For this pass here, I'm going same technique, okay, and it's gonna be called a punch pass. So it's not gonna be a free kick and the ball is still. So I'm gonna move the ball slightly to the side. Now, my technique is really important here. I'm gonna make sure that I get my shoulders over the top of the ball and I'm gonna punch the ball as hard as I can with the inside of my foot, but accurate so it hits the wall and hopefully comes back to me. So again, I move it to the side, punch, down the side of the ball, uh, down the middle of the ball, so it comes back to me quickly. Watch one more time, touch to the side, punch in. Ball comes back to me, I can work on my receiving skills when it gets back. Third one on my right foot, and I'm there. You can see my technique is there. I'm punching with the inside. My non-kicking foot is pointing where I want it to go. Keep my chest and my shoulders down, which is really important for me here. Because as you can see, if I go high, I'm gonna miss the wall. Left foot now. Can I move that ball? Touch, punch. Get it in. Nice and hard, nice and quick. Can I be accurate with it? Touch, punch, pass. Nice and accurate. I'm gonna go three. You guys keep practicing, get as many in as you can. 
at your feet, punch. Nice and accurate, and it's back in. Next one here, a little bit further away now. Like I mentioned before, you haven't got to go as far away as me. Starting to test myself now. I'm now going to go with my laces to drive the ball, but keep it down on the floor. So I'm going out to the side. Once it's out to the side, my non-kicking foot needs to be a little bit further away from the ball. That so that I can open my right foot up and use my laces and be in, rather than this technique, closed, I'm open. So I'm further away and I'm ready to strike through the ball. Not an easy technique. For this one, I'm not going for power. For this, I'm going for accuracy. I'm also going to try and generate a bit of spin on the ball. Try and generate a bit of spin on the ball. So again, touch to the side, lace it. If I can keep it down on the floor, then great. Hopefully you can see from here, I'm not actually going full power. I'm relying on my technique. I want to see that spin. One more time. Can I get that spin, that back spin on it, under control? Here I go with my weaker left foot. This is a challenge. So it's out. Good technique, just a little bit wide. So I've got to improve on that. At least two more on my left. So it's out. Get that ball away. Strike through. And the last one, out my feet. Laces. Strike through. Not a very clean one, that last one. We'll do it once more. Like I said, I want to make sure that I'm ready to move on to the next one. Out my feet. Non-kicking foot pointing to where I want it to go. Much better. That lace is not full power, but driving the ball in. Next one here. This next one, I'm going to be taking a different stance to it. So rather than me just facing the wall straight on, I'm now going to be thinking of this as a bit of a cross. So now I'm actually going to be facing across the pitch, and I'm pretending that that's my target, that's my player, that's my goal, and I'm stepping across, and this time I'm going to use the inside of my boot to come across the ball, and it's like a cross so I can generate that spin on the ball. Generate that spin and cross it into a dangerous area. Now obviously, again, I need to do this on the floor or down low. I can't be going high because I haven't got the wall there. So it's out my feet, width around the ball, and go and get it. Same again, I might take the ball on a couple of steps for a dribble. So I step out, out my feet, width, and I can see that curl is generating on the ball. One more time on my right. So again, out my feet, accurate, and I'm generating that little bit of bend on my pass, driving that crossing. Wish me luck on my left foot, same thing, out my feet, can I be accurate, can I get that bend, that curl on the ball? That one was just about in. Two more in on my left, I'll be very happy. Here we go. Out my feet, now it's like a cross, whip round the ball. Not perfect on my left, but it's work in progress. I was accurate enough, which is good for now. And the last one, accuracy is key. Can I hit that danger area? There we go. Three in a row on my right, three on my left. So, so far we've worked on different passing techniques throughout. We've got two more now that are slightly harder and slightly longer. So I'm going back to the penultimate level here. This one here is a clip pass. So the idea of this pass is it gets some height on it, but also it's under control and it's not full range. So I want to be able to get under the ball, get some height on it, ideally get it above waist height, head height if possible, so that it then bounces and hits the wall, or bounces and goes into the wall. So for this one, if you want to take the first one, more of a free kick, that's okay, but it's getting underneath the ball, clip, so it bounces into your target. 
For me there, that was smack bang in the middle of the target. Great start. And you can see, on a wet and slippery day like today, gets a good zip off the surface. So it's at my feet. Again, I'm on my laces, but I'm getting underneath the ball, getting a little bit of height on it. It's bouncing, skipping on to, if I was playing, one of my teammates on my target. Here we go, this is gonna be difficult to keep control on my left, but it's underneath, it's a clip, bounce, and in. I'm very happy with that. One more then. Let's not spoil it before we go to the last one. This is practice you can play against the wall, practice with siblings, with parents, out my feet, clip, bounce, kicks on and there we go. Every time so far I've made sure I've been nice and accurate, been within my passing zone. The last one now. This time I am gonna go further away. This time I am gonna work on one of my furthest passes that I can make. So I think I can go a little bit further. And for this pass here, this pass is pretty much my longest range. So you might practice if you've got a parent with you to clip it into someone's hands for them to catch. For me, I'm gonna try and go up high, overhead height, but also so that it bounces and keeps control and hits my target. So again, not a free kick this time. So I'm gonna move the ball, I'm out my feet, I'm up, I'm high over someone's head. And for me, that's maybe a little bit weak, not my full range, but it would have made it over someone. And I was nice and accurate. So I'll go one more on my right. I'm back out. Really work on that technique. If you wanna get some fitness in, have a little jog in between. Have a little rest if it's a nice, warm, sunny day, unlike today. Out my feet, full range, big distance. Can I hit my wall? Yes, I can. Luckily, I'll have one attempt on my left. Just one. So here we go again. I'm out. Full range up and over someone. Ah, oh, it's hit the wall, but just a little bit wide. Woo! It's come back to me. Ah, oh, it's set up perfect. My final challenge for myself then. If you're in the park, have you got a crossbar to hit? If you're in the garden, have you got a target that you can hit? My target here then, I'm gonna select using my laces. My challenge to myself, can I get it in the top half of the goal and hit that netting? So I'm gonna touch the ball at my feet. One attempt and one attempt only as it's set up to me so perfectly. Can I drive it and get it into the netting? Wish me luck. I'm not saying that was perfect, but that was basically perfect. Well done, everyone. Hopefully you can see the different techniques and types of passing that we can use in our training and games. Although we haven't got a load of space, we can still work on those techniques. It's important that we're using both feet. Hopefully you enjoyed that little practice in the first couple of drills. Go get yourselves a quick drink. We've got a three minute break. Then we're back into some more dynamic and hard working training sessions. See you in a minute. Well done. If you want to improve your technical skills, you need expert coaching. Having an app that enables you to train like a pro is perfect for kids that want to stay fit whilst at home. We're really proud of the fact that our academy graduates play here at Stamford Bridge in our first team. The training program the academy created gave me the core physical and mental skills that I use every time I play. To be able to put their expertise and knowledge in the app is incredible. Something that in the academy we're really passionate about is this idea around being able to offer the expertise and the great coaching that we provide in the elite environment to aspirational footballers across the world. Whether they're a Chelsea fan or not. To bring that knowledge, to digitise that with the uh, advanced performance tracking we've got, nothing else like it. The training games that feature in the Perfect Play app are based on the existing programme that we have. We're primarily training technical outcomes, ball mastery for instance. That's what we're also trying to train is perseverance and focus. Computer vision is massively important to the app because it enables the advanced performance tracking. What we're able to do is set goals for players. 
perfect play represents a revolution in football training. The AR technology will allow the user to set up the training space within their environment. For every time the player does that activity, it's almost to the millimetre the same space. So when we talk about performance tracking, we can give you an accurate measure of your performance with the same setup repeatedly. If you love playing football, you'll love perfect play. I've been blown away by what we've been able to achieve in relation to creating those academy-type environments for players in any type of situation, whether that's a garden, courtyard, five-a-side court. And the fact that we've been able to do that is amazing. It basically turned your phone into a professional coach. Allowing kids from across the globe to, you know, access this professional-level coaching. Perfect plays the most comprehensive and advanced training app available. No matter how good of a footballer you are, Perfect Play is only going to make you better. It helps players with their technical skills, their physical development and their football intelligence. It's fantastic now that all young footballers can undertake the same training plan using Perfect Play. I wish I had this opportunity when I was younger. Regardless of where you are, regardless of how good you already are at football, Perfect Play is an app which we believe can help you to become better at football. Perfect play really is amazing. Welcome back, guys and girls. I hope you enjoyed the first part of today's training session. Drill number three for today. We're going to be working on our receiving skills. And as that last session was quite light paced and working on our techniques of our passing, this one we're going to up the speed and the intensity a little bit more. The setup is going to be, I'm going to be five steps away or five yards away from the wall. And I'm going to have myself my first cone, walk across, four of my steps, can be six of yours if needed. If your steps are a little bit smaller, that's not a problem. I'm then going to come forward two steps. So my first cone now is only three or four steps away from the wall. And then the last cone just to complete that square. And then I'm going to come to the top of the square, come in two steps. And now I'm going to put three cones down. So I'm going to have one on the back line, one in the middle, and one on the front line there. So now if you look at the area that I'm using, and I'm going to be working on my receiving skills, I've almost got two squares or two rectangles here. Okay? So we're going to be working in an area like so. To start with, I'm just going to be passing and receiving on my right foot and just working on going and playing down this channel here. So this right foot, touch and pass, it's a lot tighter area than what we've worked on before. So can I play two touch, touch, pass, touch, pass, touch, pass. Get eight or ten in, swap over to the other side. We talked about the technique of this one earlier. It's important, non-kicking foot next to the ball, chest over, punching those passes in, nice and accurate. Two more for me, one and two. Next one here, I'm going to go three touches. So still working on my receiving skills. The ball comes in, I want to receive with the outside. Outside again, inside. Out, out, shift, in. Out, out, in. Out, out, in. Two more. That's quick feet in here. Getting the intensity up of this training session and today's session. Same on the left here, in. Out, out, in. Try and stay in the area. Keep it tight to you. Out, out, shift, in. Ah, I've come in on my first touch. I want to go out. Out, in. Out, out, in. Out, out, in. There we go. For this one here, nice and simple. Back on the right side, in. As it comes through, come through the gate in the middle here. Cross to the left. I'm up, I'm on my toes through and play. So one touch takes me through the gate, the other one passes. Try and go through each time, try and keep that quality, have a soft touch, soft touch to play through. Let me slow that down for you, if you've got it, keep going, keep working on that intensity. If you need to watch how it's done, it's punch in, I'm on my toes, I'm balanced. The ball's coming back to my right foot as it does, soft touch, across my body, slightly in front, so that I can step onto it first time on my left. Across my body, stepping onto it on my right. Across, 
working. And you can see my feet are passing from here, coming back and round slightly. Passing, back and round. Keep going, I'm gonna do six good ones. Here we go. In and across. Six good ones, starting from now I'm in. Here we go. One. And two. Nice and controlled, nice and relaxed. Three. Four. Five. Not perfect. Five. And six. Working my first touch. Working my first touch side to side. As we go this time, as I play in on my right, I want to try and receive with the outside of my left to go through the gate, to go left. Outside of right, to play right. Outside of left, to play left. We spoke about it before when receiving on the outside. I may have to get that non-kicking foot, or sorry, my receiving foot across my body, ankle locked and ready to guide and direct it to where I want it to go. Here we go, left, outside, inside, right, outside, inside. I'm just gonna get six in again. You guys should be good at this one by now. Let's go. Good work, everyone. Two more. Yes. Outside, inside on the pass. Well done, everyone. Good work. Good receiving skills. What's gonna happen this time? I'm gonna play in. As the ball comes back to me, I'm gonna receive, but I'm gonna try to get sideways on and get my arm up as if I was protecting the ball. So I'm gonna play in, receive with the outside of my boot here. Now once I've done that, I'm then gonna pass with the outside of my boot. Quickly get across to the other side and just relax. Then I'll bring it back again. So I'm in, I'm playing in, sorry, that's the first bit, now I'm protecting. Receive on the outside. Now I'm here, step away with my left foot towards my man, pass with the outside of my right, get into the other box. Okay, you do three of those a little bit quicker. Okay, so I'm in, get sideways on and scan. Now make that pass, get across to the other side, that's one. And again, can I scan, can I check up the field? Arm out to protect, make that pass, not great, out the area. One more, make it a good one, here we go. Punch it in, I've scanned, I've looked, outside, play in. Receive round my man. Same on the left. Punch that pass in. Body sideways on. Arm up to protect. Now that I'm there, lock that left ankle. Lock that ankle to punch it in. Pass it. Get across to the other square. Receive the ball. Now I've done it slowly. Can I get three good ones on my left? So it's a little passing combination. I'm in. Yes, hold it off my man. Outside the boot pass. Receive in the square. Two more. I'm in. Holding off my man. Outside the boot pass. Receive in the square. First time again. I'm in. Punch. Holding off my man and scanning. Outside the boot. Receive in the other box. So I'm working from one box to the other. This time here. I'm coming in. I'm playing in. Receive, back foot, back foot, as if I'm going to open up. Once I've received back foot, I'm going to play back in. Receive to the other side. Quick turn, play in, back foot, play in again, twist my body round. So now, it's important that my weight of pass on that second one is soft enough so that I can work hard and move my feet in between. So this one is two passes, swap box. So ready? I play. Back foot, across, open up. First one, down, straight pass, diagonal pass, move my feet, straight pass, diagonal pass, move my feet, open my shoulders up, straight, diagonal, adjust my feet so I'm constantly turning. Three more, straight, diagonal, yes, straight. Ah, not very good, straight, diagonal, twist those shoulders, get out, straight. Diagonal, last one, straight, diagonal, there we go, not easy that one, in a small area, lots of work on my receiving skills, lots of small touches, Whew, not easy at all, 
And that there is the end of session three. We're going to get set up for session four, the last part of today's drill. The setup for this one, I'm going to be using four cones of one colour if I've got them, four of another. If you haven't got different colour markers, it doesn't matter. If you've got eight um, household objects, that's perfect as well. But this is going to be the setup for our last little bit of running and hard work today. So the setup's going to be like so. I'm going to have two squares. So my first cone goes down. I'm going to step out. Two, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve of my steps. And down. Twelve across. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve steps. And I'm going to complete the square. Seven, eight, eleven, twelve. And then with my other cones, I'm going to complete and make another square. So this time I'm going to come up six. And now from here, I'm going to go twelve steps. Four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, twelve steps across to this one. Two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Make sure it's in line with the whites and with that one across there. Then the last one to complete my square. Four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six. So twelve steps away from the other yellow one. So I've got two squares in here. And I'm going to be working on both of those in the next part of this session. Okay, so my area is like so. Four cones down one side four down this near side. Okay, what's going to happen here, I'm going to work just the yellow cones to start with. If you haven't got two different colours, that doesn't matter. You, it's uh, pretty simple to, to figure out. So I'm going to dribble out, and this is my circuit, and I'm going to dribble out with good speed to get to this first cone in front of me. Once I'm here, I'm now going to do a diagonal across the area, like so, into here, forwards one, Diagonal backwards one, back to the start. And that there is my first little circuit. As soon as I'm done here though, I'm then going to go all the way to the other end. And I'm going to do the same on the white coats. So I dribble up the side here, working on my dribbling, and the same thing. So I go forward for one, backwards diagonal for one, across. You guys can just be copy in and do it with me or watch him for now. Forwards for one. Diagonal for one. And this over here would be my finishing point. So that's going to be my first circuit that I'm going to be working on. Okay, so I'm up. All you've got to remember, forwards one, backwards diagonal, forwards, backwards diagonal, swap ends, same thing again. The bit that I'm going to be looking for in this is that when I go up to the forward strides, can I take just one, maybe two touches? So I'm running with the ball. I know we've done that before. Then the detail here, quick turn. But then it's okay to dribble across, taking four or five. But then up the side, it's running with the ball. Hopefully one touch, maximum two touch. I'm going to go all the way around the circuit now. You guys can follow me. Let's see if we can do this in a good time of 20 to 30 seconds. Have a go. Again, the difference between running with the ball, quick turn, dribbling with the ball. Can I do the whole circuit in good speed? And we're going to do three variations of this, finishing off today's, finishing off today's session. Running, then dribbling. Ready? Go. One big touch. Quick turn. Load of little touches across, working both feet. Four, five, that's fine. Big touch, get out. Change of speed there. And I'm back to the start. Two, three, four, five. Here, it's a straight one, so I'm big touch all the way down and after it. Turn it in, big touch back up. Now I'm here, dribbling across. One, two, three, four touches across. Big one up. Yes, get there quickly. 
tight turn, dribble across, and there is my finish point. Woo! Not so easy. Okay, that's round number one. Two more rounds. Think about driving with the ball. Think about keeping it under control. Tight turns, dribbling across with speed. Also, can you use both feet? We'll do the same thing. We'll go from the other side. Not easy, this one. Lots of running involved, lots of hard work. But good late in the day for that concentration, that fitness. Ready? Let's go. Tight around. One, two, three. Driving all the way up. Big touch to get there. Chase after it on the diagonal. Big touch now all the way down. Big important one. Get after it. Good. Back the other way. Ah, not a good touch. Keep going on my dribbling. Whew. Three, four. Let's go. Big touch. And dribble. And there is my finishing point. Whew. Well done, everyone who took part in that. Not easy. That's hard work. But making sure we're putting that effort in. Hard work and effort will pay off. I promise you. Okay. Last one. To make it even harder on ourselves. Even harder. We're going to do the yellow square twice. The white box once. But the white box will go without the ball. So it's hard work and a run. So it's up. Diagonal. Up. Diagonal. Back to the start. Leave the ball here. It's good. 90% pace. Drive out. Up. Diagonal. Up. Diagonal. 90% still all the way back to the start. And then flat out effort on the footballs to finish off. Real hard blow to the end of a session. Okay. I'm going to give myself 45 seconds for this. Not sure how long it will take. I'm going to dig deep and wish me luck. Two yellow squares with the ball, one white square without it. Ready? Let's go. Big touch. Dribbling across. Big touch up the side again. Get after it. Dribbling across. I'm leaving the football here, and now I'm really striding out. Yes, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Back where you just came from. And across the area. Tight turns on the cones. Up again. Back to the first white cone. And now stride this one out. 90% here, put it in. Now you're tired. Concentrate on your ball work. Let's go. We're nearly there. Last two. Big touch, running with the ball. Dribbling across. And time. Whew. Well done, everyone. Great hard work and effort. Great concentration today. Well done, guys and girls who participated in today's training session. It was a tough finish working on our fitness and dribbling with the ball. We also worked on our receiving skills and our passing techniques over different distances. I hope that you enjoyed today's training session and if you'd like some additional help with your training from home program, please feel free to check out the Perfect Play app. The Perfect Play app has drills and games pulled together by our academy coaches and includes footage from our academy boys and girls players showing you some of these drills. We hope that you enjoyed today's session and we'll see you next time.